right, let's settle down right now, kids. We have a uh, big old show tonight, and folks, you can actually tell that my show is in big trouble these days because there are four sailors here tonight trying to pick me up. You're right. Hiya, fellas. <laughs> 22 months on a submarine, I look like Pam Anderson. Uh, it's double-breasted. All right, we... Uh, why? We're having fun here. No one gets hurt. Big show tonight, folks. Big, big show. I will tell you about that in, uh, in just a second. First, much to talk about here in New York. This is a big day in New York, as you probably know. The Atlanta Braves and John Rocker were in town tonight. For the... Uh, my, I haven't heard booing in the monologue since the first season. Thank you. It's nice to have it back. Brings me back to those good old days. No, the Atlanta Braves and John Rocker were in town tonight for the first time since Rocker insulted New Yorkers. And to keep fans from throwing things, there were 700 extra cops at the stadium. Did you know that? 700 extra cops. Yeah, which explains why during the game, fans threw 700 cops at John Rocker. <laughs> Lift them and throw them. And they were... That's a strong fan that'll do that. Uh, of course, this is a big story last night. After seven months of controversy, Elian Gonzalez, or as I call him, Little Elian. <laughs> oh, Little Elian. What will become of Elian? After seven months of controversy, Elian Gonzalez finally returned to Cuba. It's a big, big deal. Yeah. He's back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can actually, yeah, you can, uh, you can tell that Cuba is a much poorer country than the United States because they can only afford to have six camera crews follow Elyon everywhere. <laughs> it's very sad. Darva Conger, Darva Conger, uh, the bride from Who Wants to Marry a Multi-Millionaire, posed nude in this month's Playboy. She posed nude. <laughs> we'll get you a copy, fellas, all right. <laughs> Now, Darva posed, Darva Conger posed nude in this month's uh, Playboy. Conger has asked people not to buy the issue so she can maintain her privacy. <laughs> I like that. Uh, and then last thing I'll mention, you watch the show Survivor. This thing's a big hit on uh, the evil network CBS. Uh, <laughs> last night on Survivor, this is big story, two of the show's contestants built a love shack and had sex with each other. This is true. True story. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure it was that enjoyable, though, because they had to use a conch shell as a condom. <laughs> wow, the sailors are leaving. <laughs> They're like, let's get back on the boat. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's talk about tonight's show. Big, big show tonight thrilled about tonight's show. A good friend of ours, you know him from NYPD Blue. Very cool actor, very funny guy. Nicholas Chuchuro is on the show. We got Nick Chuchuro here. He's been our friend for a long time. We also have, from Saturday Night Live, very funny guy, Tracy Morgan is on the show. Very funny comedian from my hometown of Boston. Paul Nardizzi is on the show. <laughs> Nardizzi's here. And uh, if that jacket was buttoned up any higher, you would choke to death. Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg 7. Max, good to see you. <laughs> Testing. Testing. Don't go, little Elian, no. Elian, no. Oh, Elian. 
That's all I hear when I watch the media anymore. For months and months, no, Eliano. <sighs> oh, Eliano. Let's do the whole show, me just talking into this. What do you say? Audiences always applaud for something that would suck if you, <laughs> if you really did it the whole show. Do that, yeah. Rest America, click. <laughs>